try to keep my composure and not cry because the makeup's did. I have plans later and I'd rather not wear my makeup. But this is just something that like not very many people talk about and it's just something that I want to be open with <coughs> people about um, <coughs> and just know you're not alone. So seven years ago I, let me just go back before that my dad was my very best friend like he was my biggest motivator the person that I could always rely on um, whether it be three o'clock in the morning and I needed him um, no matter what he was always there he was the person I talked to on my way to work in the morning he was a person I ran to for advice. He was the person I went to if something bad happened. Um, he was just my absolute best friend. He was the person, he was the kind of dad that I could always rely on, but he didn't just tell me things I wanted to hear. He would tell me the things that even maybe I didn't want to hear, but they were the truth. Um, he was just my absolute all. He was the best dad I could have ever asked for. And seven years ago, a little bit longer than seven years ago, I had mentioned before that my dad had passed away. And that was the hardest, the hardest day in my entire life is losing him. Um, you know, I relied on him for so much and, you know, that kind of scared me. But it was more of the fact that, like, I was still young. You know, I was what, 22 years old. I wasn't, I, I still needed my dad i still needed him around i still you know my kids were still young he needed to you know watch his grandchildren grow and he needed to watch his children grow so he needed you know he missed my wedding and he missed Ryder being born and me buying a house and things like that but let me just say this when my dad died it was literally the hardest thing i dealt with in my entire life um and I think me and my siblings relied on my dad a little too much for things, but we didn't see that at the time. Um, so after my dad passed away, I really kind of hit rock bottom for a while. Like I was strong for my kids, but when I got a second to hide behind closed doors, I would lose my shit. And it was a very tough thing to get through. But I also became motivated to do better because I didn't have, you know, I had my mom, yes, and I love my mom dearly, but thing, our relationship is di way different than me and my dad's. Um, and I just knew, like, I didn't have that person to fall back on. I didn't have the person to run to for advice or for help or to cry to at three o'clock in the morning. I didn't have that anymore. I lost that. I can't call heaven and talk to my dad. And, you know, it really built me up and I ended up buying my house and, you know, filming a foundation for my kids and I before I met Danny, my husband now. But what people don't talk about, well, I don't really hear much about death anyways, but what people don't talk about is that you hear from so many people like things will get better blah 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 they don't they really don't time heals all wounds no it doesn't there is days where i'm good but it's always in the back of my mind always um you know toby come here no 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 
Um, with that being said, like there's like writers almost five years old now. He started to ask like if I have pictures up of him and he wants to know who he is and who's holding his mommy in pictures because I have pictures of when I was little and my dad with my dad and he wants to know who that is and you know Christmas comes around and he's not here and holidays come around or his birthday comes around and you know things just they don't get they don't ever go away you don't ever heal you will always have that broken piece in you no matter what you do or what you try it's always always going to be there and you are not alone like it's okay to still break down okay it's been seven years and this year around my dad's birthday i laid in bed and just cried for a whole night one night you know and it's not that like it has nothing to do with my life my I, i'm very grateful and happy in my life itself but it's still very hard to not have the person that meant so much to me. Whether or not you are 60 years old and lose a parent, or you're 10 or 22 or however old you are, you always still want your parent. That's just, you You do, you, you're not prepared to lose them. And losing a parent is probably the, one of the hardest things next to, I, I don't know how losing a child would feel, but losing a parent is like seriously the hardest thing deal with and it doesn't you know that like I said people don't talk about don't talk about how the how the pain is you know years after they usually talk about it then and there and how it feels now there's days where I feel very strong and motivated like I just want to do things um, because I have my dad's up above watching me and proud and then there's days where I just feel broken and like I just want to call him and talk to him and ask him for advice or uh, you know want him you know to physically tell me that I'm doing a good job and I can't have that and it's it's just very 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 hard it's very hard and it hurts so much <coughs> and unless you lose a parent you will never fully understand the hurt and the pain and the way it changes somebody I'm a completely different person than I was then because I grow, I've grown and I've, you know, lost my parent, my best friend, and I will forever have a hole in my heart. So there's just, I mean, it, I just, I have so many things I could say and I just don't even know where to start, but I just want you, everybody to know, like, you are not alone. Losing a parent is very, very hard. It doesn't go away. It doesn't fully get better. People can tell you what you want. And I know it's annoying because I remember how many times I heard, like, things will get better. Time heals wounds. It'll get more manageable. No. No, it doesn't. No. Um, if anything, you're more busy, like you get busy in life and so you don't think about it as much, but then when you actually sit down or there's something big that happened in life and your parents not there and they can't be, it's very hard. And that's <coughs> why I will never understand how a parent can just walk out on a kid's life. Never. Because losing a parent is, has been the hardest thing. The hardest thing I have ever yeah. So, if you're like me and you're struggling still years down the road, don't be ashamed. Don't hide it. It's okay. It's really okay. And maybe people won't understand why. Maybe they won't. And that's okay. Like, if you need time by yourself, Take it. If you need a moment to still sit in the corner and cry, do it. But also try to remind yourself that they, your parent, is watching down over you. They want what's best for you. They are proud of the person that you are becoming. They are cheering you on. And you might not physically see them, but they're there. I promise. And, you know, they don't want to see you sad. And I know it's hard to compose yourself. But just get up and pick the pieces up. It's okay. Shed those tears. 
Scream, yell, punch the punching bag. Hi, Ryder. Whatever it takes. Love you. Whatever it takes, just do it and then get back up and kick ass because that's all you can do. And that's all I can do. But we are here together as a team. I'm here for you guys. Um, if you ever need to talk, don't care if I don't even know you, I'm here. I will listen. I will give any advice or things that have worked for me that has helped. Hold on a minute. And, you know, maybe we can help each other. And I know that there's support groups and stuff out there like that, but I fear like me, I'm not much to talk to strangers. Like, that's just, I don't like it. When I'm having a really rough day, I like to curl my bed and shut out the world, which isn't very often, but there is still days, especially December, which I've mentioned before, because that's my dad's birthday month. That's also the month he passed away, and that's also Christmas. So it's very hard for me to deal with December, and I really try hard to like enjoy Christmas um, for my family and stuff but it's still really hard at the end of the day no one will ever truly love you like a parent does and I think that that's what's the hardest is because you want that so so bad you want when you see parents doing things like at their kids' weddings or you know with their child when their um, child's in labor or they get to meet their grandkids or doing things with their grandkids and I can't do that with my dad it's very hard for me very hard and I try not to like be the jealous type but I am jealous I am and that's okay don't feel bad about feeling jealous because it, I mean that's what everybody wants in life and it, it just it, it really sucks and it really hurts and you know people are good about putting on a show but losing a parent is not something that not ever anybody should act like obviously everybody has to go through it at some point but it's just not something I would wish upon anybody until they're old and die of old age not when they're young I could sit here and talk forever about my feelings and about the way I feel but it's just you know I will forever put on a strong front for my kiddos um, but it's okay to shut down sometimes and it's okay to still have those moments where you just feel like your world, like half your world is gone. That's, that's okay. Like, that's okay. That's just human nature. If you didn't ever shed a tear over it, then I don't think something's wrong with you. Because, yeah. So, like I said, if you ever need to talk to somebody, I'm here. I'm a really good listener. Sometimes have good advice if you want to hear it. If not, I'm just here to listen. Also, I'm not a judgmental person at all. And what goes in one ear doesn't, or it goes out the other. But it doesn't go out my mouth. It's not much for drama and all that. But I will be here to listen. Um, I know what losing your parent is like. Your best, your best friend and the person you've always relied on. Um, you know, growing up, it was my, you know, sister was close to her mom and my brother was close to our mom and then I was really close to my dad and, you know, that just doesn't ever go away, that pain. It's always a pain in my stomach. Alright guys, I'm going to stop blabbering, but I just wanted to kind of open up and talk about this when I'm actually kosher and not going to bawl my eyes out. Um, I've been feeling pretty good well we were in Florida and then I'm really sick so I've been containing myself pretty good um, but last month was really the beginning of the month was really really hard for me really hard like I had a lot of meltdowns so it's just it's okay and it's okay to do that and don't forget that and don't forget that there's people that have went through it and don't forget that you're not the only person out there and we're all here for each other. I'll catch you guys in the next video.